Hello, everyone. Welcome to Glory Talk. This is June 5th, 2023. Welcome. Um, I do have a title here. Uh, he was talking to me about uh, what's going on today. And he actually did say a scripture. He said, the wealth, and this is what God told me, the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the hands of the righteous. Amen. So I love that one. Uh, remember, uh, please like, subscribe, follow, and share all the videos, words, and posts and get me out there and keep, uh, you know, pressing the likes, pressing the follows and, and subscribing because and following when you do that, it gives me a chance to do this and get God out there. And you know, everybody's job is to get God out there. So please talk up God all the time and, uh, tell them, tell them about, tell everybody about God's narrative because God's narrative is about what we have yet to do here on the earth. And that is to show everybody his love, show everybody his mercy. And we're just not done with everything yet. And um, we're winning this one, you know, we're winning the war. So amen. Uh, let's see. Also, if you want to give to Glory Talk, uh, you can give at uh, paypal.me slash Glory Talk and patreon.com slash Glory Talk. I also have uh, descriptions under each video under YouTube and also in the about section. And also I have pinned posts under uh, my Facebook page. And there's two of them there that you can see where to give there too. And that's about Patreon and Glory Talk. I mean, and uh, PayPal. Amen. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what God wants to do here. I think we're going to pray it in right now. Okay, we're going to pray in right now. So let's pray in. Father God, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, I thank you for everything you've done. You are worthy to be praised. Bless your holy name. I just love that you can take care of us, Lord, and that you want to talk to us and you want to minister to us and that you allow us to do your work here on earth. And, and that's what we're supposed to do. And Lord, I just ask that you instill in everyone and um, fill everybody up with you in order for them to go out and spread you to everyone around them. And uh, that's how we keep doing your will. And talk them up, talk you up, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, God the Father, and spread your love and spread your word, spread the word, and make sure everybody knows the right narrative of the day. And that is to what? That is to save everyone and speak up what you want done. And that we are coming into your new kingdom, age, and era. The divine kingdom. For your kingdom and your power and your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So that was a really interesting prayer. Um... Interesting how God was talking about that. Um, let's see if the Holy Spirit wants us to do that. Remember, get rid of the distractions. Get rid of them. Um, you're not supposed to be listening to all that crap anyway. And uh, and, and uh, forgive me, I said I said the C-R-A-P word. Uh, yeah, uh, it's the, what is it, Lord? It's more like the, uh, it is, it's really bad, but... You don't want to have the distractions. You don't want to have all that junk coming at you. And it's best to only listen to what God wants to tell us, not what the world is telling us. And because we don't want to fill ourselves up with and hear and hear and go straight into our soul, because that's what happens when you hear and see and it goes straight in our soul. So we want to fill ourselves up with something that Jesus wants us to fill us up with and what God Almighty wants to fill us up with, and what the Holy Spirit wants to have us fill us up with. That's what we should be filling ourselves up with. So yes, <laughs> praise God. Uh, let's see, let's, 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 let's listen a little bit to the Holy Spirit. Um, I've got that scripture. Um, we'll see if he wants to touch on that. And start there. Okay, he's saying to start there. Amen. Okay, so this is Proverbs. Uh, I have the Amplified Version. I love the Amplified Version. Love it, love it, love it. And this is the Amplified Version of Proverbs 13, and it is going to be 22. And there it is. And here is uh, God's Word. It says, 
A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. That's great. And the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the hands of the righteous. Isn't that cool? So, isn't that, isn't that interesting how we are to leave an inheritance for our children's children? And you know, that's something that has not been possible. I know um, the way the enemy and the devil has been doing our society is that he's keeping us broke. He's keeping us living us, you know, to where we were without. And the majority of the people are without. And so, interesting enough, um, we are being a slave to this system that he made, the devil had made and set up on this earth. And so we are going to be broke free from this system. And it's called, and God calls it the Babylonian, Babylonian system. We are going to be broke free from this system. And um, very soon, by the way. And uh, right now that uh, he wants me to mention this, he says, remember, we are going to leave mm, an inheritance for our children's children. Isn't that amazing? So this is coming. This is what we're going to look forward to. And the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the hands of the righteous. It's interesting how it, it, it's, it's cool. It says the wealth of the sinner is stored up for, and it says the hands. This is added from the Amplified Version. Uh, the hands of the righteous. So, okay, Holy Spirit. Yeah, I'm going to listen to the Holy Spirit. He's saying something right now. He's saying, you know, we've been, we've been, a, we've been under control and we've been manipulated and under a, a, we've been imprisoned into this system that the devil has set up for us. And we were not supposed to have that in the first place. And so when it says this, it says this is what um, God's going to do. Actually, and God is going to do this. He is going to have the wealth of the sinner stored up for the hands of the righteous. So what do you know what he's going to do? He's going to take the wealth from the sinner, and he's going to give it to who? To the righteous, to you and me who are believers in Christ, to the ones that are living... How do you say it, Holy Spirit? Right standing, that's what the word says. The ones that are living right standing with him. And when you're living right standing with God, you're going to receive all these blessings because God is tearing down all the evil system right now. And he's exposing it all right now. And that's what all that report that is out there, like the Durham report that's out there, and all those things that they're catching, all these evil elite by stealing and manipulating and trying to continue with a one world government and tell us what we can and cannot do, you know, and that's not true freedom. Even God has told me and others also that we are no longer going to be living like this and we are going to be free, free indeed. And, you know, this is really interesting. Um, we are in the, we are in the, right on the tip of the edge where we are going to pivot into the new kingdom, age, and reign. And um, we have a lot of work to do down here. And so we have all those things to fulfill because we have to have the billion soul harvest. We have to shine like the sun for God. It even says that in Isaiah 60, 61, and 62, we're going to rebuild the nations and we're going to have the nations help us rebuild them and take care of our children. I mean, it's amazing. You should read that and look it up and read it. I'm encouraging you to do that. So this is what's coming in our future. And um, remember, we are not ready to be uh, taken away from the earth yet because we have so much to do yet. Um, we, especially right here, it even promises this in Proverbs. This is what's going to happen. And so um, I'm going to encourage you guys just to, to hold on. We're almost through this whole mess of all the evil being exposed, because when you see all that evil exposed, you're going to see all this righteousness come through too. And that's what God is doing. And there is going to be a pivot moment, a pivot time where we will switch from one way where 
It was going towards the evil left and is going towards everything that the devil represented, which was what he kills, steals, and destroys. And now we're going to go back into the other way, which is the right way, which is God's way, which is to have divine health, wealth, and prosperity. And that is what we are going to, and we are going to pivot into that. There is a tipping point coming, and, and God is even revealed to us and to others too, and not just to myself, that there is going to be a, it's going to be an event that God gets the credit for. That is what he keeps talking about. He's going to get the credit. He's going to get the credit for just everything that's going to change from one way of evil to the next, which is good. And so count on it. It's coming. I tell you, it's coming. Because remember, it says in Revelations, Babylon is falling. And he gave me that scripture, by the way. Oh, yeah, he did. So uh, let's touch on that. So this is what we're seeing uh, right now. And excuse me for looking down. I just have to look it up here and find it. I had it marked. There it is. Okay. So this is Revelations 18. And I believe he wants me to do 9 and 10. So let's go ahead. This is the Amplified Version. And so it's 9 and 10. So it says here, okay, this is what they're doing right now. And this is what they're being caught doing right now. And it says, And the kings and the political leaders of the earth who committed immorality and lived luxuriously, luxuriously with her will weep and beat their chests in mourning over her when they see the smoke of her burning. And they're talking about Babylon. And um, in, in, in number 10, it says, Standing a long way off in fear of her torment, saying, Woe, woe, the great city, the strong city, Babylon. In a single hour, your judgment has come. Oof, praise God. Look at that. So look what's going to happen to the evil. This is... Mm. Lord, 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 Lord. Man, do these evil people know what they're doing? I mean, look what's going to happen to them. Um, this is what God is showing me right now. Um, this is what's going to happen to these people. In a single hour, their judgment has come. And they're actually going to see this. And they were living, mm, the kings and the political leaders of the earth during this time, they committed immorality and lived luxuriously with her, which is Babylon, and will weep and beat their chests in mourning over her when they see the smoke of her burning. So it is coming down. It's crashing. And it says here, stand, they are standing a long way off in fear of her torment, saying, woe, woe, the great city, the strong city, Babylon. In a single hour, your judgment has come. Oh my gosh. And guys, I encourage you to read this because it's amazing what's, what says here. And then it describes everything that's going to happen. And it just detailed out all the way through this whole chapter. Oh my gosh. And it still talks about but one, one hour. Can you believe that? And even says in 17, I'm going to add this. Is that okay, Holy Spirit? Yeah. The Holy Spirit says, go ahead. He says, because in one hour, there it is again, all the vast wealth has been laid waste. And remember where the wealth's going to go. It's going to go to the righteous. And that's in Proverbs 13, 22. So that's what God is telling us what's going to happen. You want to get on the right side of this, by the way. You want to be on the right side of this by living right standing with God and being saved and repenting and coming into his discernment, into his uh, wisdom, understanding, discernment, and right standing with him. Because when you're right standing with God and living his right narrative, you're going to be reaping the rewards that are coming to you. And remember, there are benefits when you follow Christ, when you follow God Almighty and Holy Spirit. There are so many benefits, and you should look them up in the Word. And I'm encouraging you guys to look up all the benefits in the Word, because we're going to actually live those through our lives. This is the last, yes, this is the last kingdom before we see the end of this whole thing. And so what? And this kingdom never ends. And that's what it says in the word. This is the kingdom that never ends. Amen. All right. So let's see what else the Holy Spirit wants to talk about here. Um, I'm told to keep these videos pretty short. So, <coughs> excuse me. So 
Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants to do right now. I, I heard about Deuteronomy. See, he told me some scriptures earlier, so I'm going to look up Deuteronomy, and we'll go from there, too. Uh, oops, I lost that one right there. Oh, here it is. Okay. So this is... Uh, hmm. This is Deuteronomy. i got to go back farther. Give me a second. There we go. All right. It says in, oh, okay, and this is Deuteronomy, and this is 15, and it's going to be 4, 5, and 6, I believe. So let's read that. This is the Amplified Version, and this is Deuteronomy 15, 4, 5, and 6. Ah, this is a good one. He said, and this is what the Word says, it is written, However, there will be no poor among you, since the Lord will most certainly bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance to possess. Praise God. And then there is conditions, you know, you have to listen to the Lord. So it says, if only you will listen to and obey the voice of the Lord your, father, your God to, ob to observe carefully all these commandments which I am commanding you today. And remember, we are under the new commandment. We are under the new covenant with Jesus. And then it says in 6, when the the Lord your God blesses you as he promised you, then you will lend to many nations, but you will not borrow, and you will rule over many nations, but they will not rule over you. Praise God. So that's what we're looking forward to. Isn't that amazing? Amen. So let's look at that. However, there will be no poor among you. Now look, this is what happens when you follow God. This is what happens when you do his bidding and you're being obedient to what he, being obedient to what he is telling you to do, and you're doing it. And I'm telling you, this is cool. It says, there will be no poor among you, none, since the Lord will most certainly bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance to possess. So remember, and the conditions, there are benefits for this, and there's conditions for this, and it says, because if you own, if you will listen to and obey the voice of the Lord your God, so there is an obedience there that we have to follow. And it says to observe carefully all these commandments which I am commanding you. So remember in the Old Testament, they had to, they had to observe certain rules and laws and uh, um, everything they had to do, you know, to be right standing with God. But now we have Jesus Christ as our savior, which has taken care of all this on the cross already and taken care of all the sin for us. And so all we have to do is be obedient and listen to what he has to say and listen to his word uh, and listen to what God's saying and doing his word. And so remember, we can't listen to the evil narrative that the devil is trying to do and the evil narrative that has gotten into most of the churches. And, and I'm just saying that because it's true. They've watered down the word so that we don't see the Holy Spirit showing up in the churches. And what happens when the Holy Spirit shows up in the churches? You see signs, wonders, and miracles that follow. So yes, they're teaching the word, but they've watered it down so much. And the, the devil has gone in there and watered it down so much that they're listening to things that don't really... Um, allow the Holy Spirit to move. And so that's a concern. And God is not pleased with that, by the way. He wants his, his believers to be completely wholeheartedly into him and listening to what the Holy Spirit is doing. Because yeah, they'll talk about, they'll talk about it, but they won't, they won't teach the practical things of what the Holy Spirit does and how he moves through our lives. And that's what's important. It's very, very important. Amen. So where were we? And it's number five, then. It says, okay, and it's talking about the obeying, so you have to listen and obey to the voice of the Lord. Isn't that interesting? It even says that, if only you will listen to and obey the voice of the Lord, the Holy Spirit, because that's your, he's the still small voice, to observe carefully all these commandments which I am commanding you today. Praise God. And here's six. And 6 says, when the Lord your God blesses you as he promised you, then you will lend to many nations, but you will not borrow. That's how this is going to work. And you will rule over many nations, but they will not rule over you. This is what's coming. Praise God. Praise God. Whew. All right. So it says, he's going to bless us. It says it right there. He's going to bless us. This is what we're walking into, this new kingdom age and era. And it's the divine kingdom. Look it up. It's in the word. You, as he has promised, so that's for us, and God has promised us, and you will lend to many nations. So we're going to have all the wealth. 
and we're going to lend to nations and we will not borrow. We won't borrow. And it says, we will rule over many nations. This is what's coming. And it says, but they will not rule over you. So they will not rule over us. We're going to be ruling over them. We are going to own it all. All the believers in Christ, the ones that are true, listening to God and, and listening to his true narrative, are going to rule over Christ. Uh, rule over the nations and those are people with Christ by the way the ones that believe wholeheartedly in what God's doing and what Christ's narrative is and it's about walking in divine health wealth and prosperity it's not about all this crud that you keep seeing all around you and um, that's what he wants you to know this is what he wanted me to talk about today amen because what you will rule over many nations but they will not rule over you Praise God. The wealth, there it is. The wealth of the sinner is stored up for who? You and me, the righteous. The hands of the righteous. I love how it goes there. It actually says that. So praise God. Okay, Holy Spirit, what next? What do you want to do next? Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants to say. Um, remember, he's that still small voice. And um, he wants to talk to us all the time throughout the day even at night and so we have to be willing to get rid of those distractions get rid of them all of them amen he's saying remember me yeah isn't that interesting thank you holy spirit i heard him say remember me don't do it without me like, you know it's that still small voice you got to learn how to hear him learn how to to trust him and 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 hear his still small voice and sometimes it's pretty loud i can hear it pretty loud sometimes but then there's the times where i gotta really be just enough and it's like oh yeah there you are and so sometimes you know and then you can he's going to train you how to hear him if you want that ask him hey holy spirit please train me how to hear you you know and he will he will do that for you yeah he's saying keep and keep going i heard him say keep going so do you want to hear him? You need to get rid of those distractions, you know. You need to believe what the word says. The believe the word says he comes in a still small voice. And that's what you need to look up to so you can stand on that. And um his still small voice. Because he'll guide you all the way. And he's a part of the Trinity, God the Father, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit. Blessed are they. Uh, I, he's got a scripture for me. Blessed, are, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You know, when we come, wow. When we, when we do what God wants us to do, and we come because of him, we are blessed. And we're going to receive all those blessings from him. Because we're being obedient to him. We're hearing him. We're being right standing. There it is in the word. Right standing with him. And when you're right standing with him, you're actually going to succeed at what you're going to do for him and with him. Because he's going to show you what to do. He's going to have you do it. And you're going to have a passion to do it. And even though there's um, some obstacles, he will make sure that you will complete the task at hand. Because he has set it up for you. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. Mm, praise God. And that's about it. All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, God the Father. Um, well, I'm supposed to keep them short, so this is short. Um, remember, let's get God out there. Please like, subscribe, follow, and share all the videos, words, and posts. And so it gets me out there. It keeps me doing this. And then you can lift up everybody else, too, by talking him up, talking about God, and lifting up God to everyone and everyone around you. And um, remember, you can give at Glory Talk at paypal.me slash glory talk and patreon.com slash glory talk. And that is how you can give to me right now. And um, let's see, what else, Lord? That's about it. Hey, I want to... I want to encourage you guys to uh, go after Christ and be that Christ-like figure, you know, be that Christ-like person for, for Jesus, because, you know, that's what he did everything on the cross for, so we could be like him, so we could become him, and we could share what? Him to the world, and what they're doing, and what God, the Father, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ are doing. 
Amen. Amen. Because we're not done yet. No, sir. We're just not done. So I encourage you guys to, uh, you know, embrace life, live it to the fullest, enjoy it, seize the moment, and do all this. Do all this because of who? Because of him. Because of God Almighty, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. Amen. It's totally worth it. It's totally worth it. And you're going to make it through. And it's not going to be much of, an, of a problem here very, very soon. Because we are going to be switching into the right, <laughs> the right kingdom and the right way of living. And it's his promise and his word that we're going to finish what he started. Just like it says. So, don't give up. Never surrender. And keep going after Christ. And doing his bidding. And listening to what he has to say. And be obedient to him. So, until next time, guys. I love you very much. And uh, have a wonderful day. I'll see you later. Goodbye.